Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In this video the discovery of four campsites in the Netherlands. Three of them, and the fourth should be, are SVR campsites. A Dutch foundation with almost 2000 participating campsites all over Europe. 1200 of which in the Netherlands. SVR campsites are said to be in the countryside, small, spacious, simple but attractive and low budget. For 10 euros a year you are a member and get access to all the addresses, search menu and several benefits. So let's find out if they are any good and go up north with this. And if that fits, well, I guess you know what I mean. First one, campsite De Bosrand in Mechelen. For this first campsite we go to the east. To get to the campsite from the south of Mechelen, just pass the first campsite and keep driving until the second one. There is about 25 large pitches, stuff for kids, Wi-Fi, 6 amps electricity, covered wagon rides and apples to pick. For the bathrooms and toilet facilities we have to cross the road. They are small, but clean and adequate. The area is pretty good to do some biking and hiking. So we take our passports and decide to take the old smuggle route to Germany, which is only 60 yards from here. This smuggle route actually is more than 2000 years old and was constructed by the Romans. We cross the border where there is a German bench, German corn and German water. On the way back Ziva decides to smuggle German corn, you silly dog. But she isn't silly at all. She hides it very classical in her stomach before passing the border again. Goed zo. Now this little campsite is accessible for almost any vehicle and charged me 15 euros and 50 cents a night for me, my two dogs and my big RV, which is not too much. Let's leave and go to number two. Number two is further up north and the evening before I decided to give them a call to make sure they had a pitch for me. Camping de Wicker, heeft u voor morgenavond een plekje voor mij? 8,5 meter, 8,5 ton. Hartstikke mooi, dank u wel. But as the landlady said, there was a bit of a challenge. They run a natural campsite and therefore there is no electricity. So we drive north, enter the little village Vasse and go right just before the church. After that it's just a matter of following the signs. just until you reach the farm. Where the landlady leads us to the campsite which is one and a half kilometers deeper into the countryside and the woods. Uh oh, it's getting narrow and narrower. I get the feeling that the lack of electricity is not the challenge here. So at arrival we stop 
and I send out a scout to check out this place. In a while he comes back with his thumbs up. Now I trust this guy with my life, so right on. And he was right. Apart from some broken branches, we don't damage anything and we get to a beautiful pitch. Dogs happy, me happy. With 55 pitches, this campsite isn't exactly small. But these pitches are beautiful, large, have a lot of privacy and shade, and the fireplace. It looks out here, everybody can create his own little piece of paradise. And again, Germany is not far away. He's in the Netherlands. Uh oh, and now he's in Germany. The toilet and bathroom facilities are small, but tidy. And if you want to take a shower, these people trust you to put 50 cents in the wooden box. At night, it gets really dark here. So if you have to go, bring a flashlight. And even then, you might get lost on the way back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's not good. Now this natural campsite in the middle of the woods only charged me 11 euros a night, which is an absolute bargain for a splendid pitch and area. Okay, the accessibility is a challenge, but then again, what fool would go there with an 8.5 meter long and 2.5 meter wide travel coach? By the way, if you want to know more about this bus, just follow the link in the upper right corner. Now let's move on to number 3. We go further up north to the province of Drenthe. The thing is that it looks like in the old days people in this area could think of any creative names for their villages. I mean there is Nieuw Dordrecht, Nieuw Amsterdam and even Marokko. Marokko? I've got to check that out. Goedemorgen. Goedemorgen. Marokko. Marokko, dan moeten we weer terug. Als we weer terug rijden, dan gaat u over het spoor. Ja. En dan krijgt u een kruising, dan u rechts af en daar rijdt u nog een boeien. Dankjewel. Marokko, as the man said, is just a small hamlet. The thing is that during development, at the start of the 20th century, this area had no name. And in those days, they just named it after a faraway country. This road was constructed in the 1960s, and after that... One out. Ah, there's another one. Not much development. But, if people ask me where did you go this summer, I can say to Morocco. To get to the campsite we enter New Amsterdam, go west just before the canal, and keep the water on our right hand side. Then campsite de Eulenberg will show up at our left. And I'm ordered to a pitch right where I belong, next to the other big stuff. This campsite has 25 nice and large pitches. It has fishing water nearby, 
kit stuff. A bar where you can also buy takeaway food and cold drinks. Very nice toilet and bathroom facilities with a washing machine and 10 eggs for 1 euro. And above all, lots of animals. There's a calf, a retired cow, a donkey, Hello? my little pony, pheasants and turkeys and chickens. And although I haven't seen it, there should be an owl too. With a noisy highway nearby, 19 euro and 50 cents a night for me, my boss and two dogs is not a bargain. But the price is doable. And hey, all those animals have to be fed of course. So let's go to the last campsite in this video. And that's a pretty special one. For this last one, we go way up north, almost to where this country ends. To the little village called Utsant. Entering Utsant from the east, just keep driving until the main road and turn right. Then you will find a campsite at your left hand side, just beyond the school. It has a peculiar name, Landgoed de Camping, which means something like Estate the Campsite. Now there are more peculiar things here. It looks like a former sports park. And it is. This used to be the football pitch for the local club and is now being turned into a campsite. Officially only 16 camp pitches, so lots of space, peace and quiet. Landgoed de Camping is the only one of these four which is not an SVR campsite. But in my opinion, with its characteristics, it really should be. The canteen is converted to library and office. And the former dressing rooms are now bathroom facilities for campers. There is even a little shop with basic stuff for campers and for the locals. Now the foundation that manages this campsite does a lot of good work for the community. Just check their website in the description below. To get to my camping pitch, I passed the goal line, became midfielder, went from penalty box to corner flag, and finally ended up at the old dugout. The campsite has a big fireplace. You can throw a party. Or just have a very nice and quiet time at your pitch. And at night, right next to the dugout, you can dream about being the best football coach ever. Dick Advocaat, Jose Mourinho, or even Louis van Gaal. Now this campsite charged me 19 euros a night, with or without dreams, and that is totally worth it. Well, that's it for now. 
Hope you enjoyed it. If you want more information about these campsites or the SVR, all links are in the description below. Keep an eye out for episode number 2, which is about 4 campsites down south. Push the subscribe button if you like and see you in the next video. Bye!